Hi, I'm Beth, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Trend Desk Roundup. If this is your first time tuning in, here on the Roundup we bring you the latest e-commerce news and stats so you can stay up to date. This week, we'll be discussing the donation Patagonia made to environmental trusts and the impact the cost of living is having on retail. Outdoor fashion brand Patagonia has made headlines recently with its latest move to fight climate change. Rock climber turned billionaire Yvonne Chouinard has long been praised for his company's sustainability practices such as guaranteeing clothing for life and encouraging shoppers to consider the environmental costs of shopping. Now, ownership of the outdoor apparel company, valued at $3 billion, is being transferred to the Patagonia Purpose Trust and Holdfast Collective. Any profit not reinvested in the company will act as funding for the charitable trust. This is expected to amount to $100 million per year. The 83-year-old entrepreneur said, instead of going public, you could say, we're going purpose. Instead of extracting value from nature and transforming it into wealth for investors, we'll use the wealth Patagonia creates to protect the source of all wealth. What do you think about the company's statement, Earth is now our only shareholder? Share your opinions in the comments. As consumers brace for the impact of the cost of living crisis, retailer sales growth has slowed. The lead up to the lucrative Q4 period is set to be dominated by more news of inflation and rising energy bills. Consumers are preparing for the months ahead by cutting back on shopping, particularly for non-essential items. This already has caused a noticeable decline in online sales as indicated by the British Retail Consortium. Jose Carvalho, Head of Consumer Products at Barclaycard said, The cost of living is clearly leading Brits to cut back on some non-essential purchases to ensure they can afford the increasing cost of their weekly grocery shop and household utility bills. Many Brits plan to continue cutting back on their discretionary spending during autumn and winter. Have your consumer buying habits changed due to the rising cost of living? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for this week's roundup. Be sure to follow the page to keep up to date with the latest e-commerce trends and news directly to your feed. Follow the link in the description to start tracking on Trend Desk for free. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.